crew. Cool. Yeah. Wish I could be a steamroller driver when I grow up. Um, I mean, I used to wish that. Back when I was a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Really? You wanted to be a steamroller driver too? Even more than an astronaut. Wow. Then maybe, if you were like me when you were little, I'll be cool like you when I'm bigger. Maybe I can give you a few pointers. Sure, nothing else doing. This is one of the coolest collections of vintage vinyl on the planet, Jake. Jake? He called me Jake. This is my original release, never played 45 of I Want to Hold Your Hand. That's by the Beatles, isn't it? Very good. Check it out. Wow. <gasps> It's my fault, Squirt. Squirt, 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 Squirt. I should have known better than to let a little kid hold something that valuable. I was asking for it. But Daniel... Just forget it, Pipsqueak, 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 Pipsqueak. Now if you don't mind, I have six chapters to read for tomorrow. On guard, Shapiro! On guard yourself, O'Toole! <laughs> Hi, you missed Old Bean. Old Bean? Look again, Shapiro. I'm using a carrot. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, you mean we're using a carrot. Farewell, father! <laughs> okay, how's this? A funny thing happened on the way to the fundraiser tonight. I met a snail who had a big red letter S painted on the side of his car. So everyone he zoomed past would say, Look at that S car go. S car go? Snails. Good one, Dad. Way funnier than the one about catching fish with a can of peas. That seals it. S car go is the opener for my speech at Mother's Fundraiser tonight. Beware, Jacob Tutu. You had best stay on your guard. Dad, if indeed it truly is Dad, and not some master criminal in a clever disguise, is trying to pass off those giant, green, bumpy frog eggs as pickles. Frog eggs. Frog eggs. Hey, Jake. Pickle for your thoughts. Frog eggs. No thanks, Dad. <laughs> Why the long face? I broke one of Daniel's records. I want to hold your hand by the Beatles. Original, Original release, release 45. 45. 
never been played. <sighs> Give it some time, Jake. I'm sure Daniel will get over it. Huh? Hello. Oh, hello, Marge. Yes, she's out back tending the flowers. May I take a message? <laughs> Looks like your mother has invented a new sport. Speed gardening. Isn't gardening supposed to be a way to help you relax? I'll relax after the gardening's done, and I've ironed your good shirt and typed up the minutes from last night's parent committee meeting. Ah, uh, which reminds me, Marge called. Oh, dear. She's wondering about the advertisements for the silent auction. I'll call her after I proofread your speech for the literacy fundraiser. <laughs> I've got a great opener. It goes like this. A funny thing happened on my way to the fundraiser tonight. Hello? Oh, hi, Val. So when are we going to go check out that new boutique? It looks really... What? You went without me? Val? Psst! Follow me, amigo. And try not to look suspicious. No one. Are they spies, Mr. Dinglebutt? Affirmative. Yes, absolutely. Now, while I choose a fresh disguise, you can brief me on your pressing personal problem. How did you know? I am a trained observer, Jacob. <clears throat> Nothing escapes these eagle eyes. Whoa! I'm all right. Well, for the first time in my whole life, Daniel wasn't treating me like a little kid. It was like we were pals. Then in one split second, I messed it all up. Well, whatever your crime, a fine, upstanding fellow like Daniel is certain to forgive and forget. Good grief. Too much? Uh-huh. Okay. I bet Daniel's still calling me Pipsqueak when I'm 50. What you need is a diversion. Something to take your mind off your cares. That's it. I could go on a top-secret mission to the heart of the Amazon jungle, where I'll go missing for years. By the time I make it back, I'll be a cool teenager instead of a little kid with butterfingers. Oh, perhaps something to keep you occupied and close to home base. How come they call them blueprints? Why can't they be red prints or green? I saw yellow footprints in the snow once. This looks neat. What is it, anyway? Some kind of government top secret Mr. Dinkleback found in his basement. How come it was in his basement? It's a Canadian top secret. He says no one ever wants them. Pardon me. That's it! What? I'll get her a frog. Get who a frog? My mom for her birthday. My dad says she has two of everything, but I'm pretty sure she doesn't even have one frog. And it'll be a real surprise too. Because she'll never guess what it is. Unless it croaks in the box. Right. Air holes. Good idea, Jacob. That's why you're the brains of this outfit. I had a cowboy outfit once. Do you like fringed clothing? I think it's a go-kart. A go-kart. It sure went together easy. Are you sure it's from the government? There's no wheels. Yep, from the government, all right. Wheels? <laughs> why, of course there aren't any wheels. Why would anyone need wheels on a time machine? Time machine? Time machine! What's this red button do? Very good. Check it out. I'm back! I'm back! 
Back where? I'm back in time. In time. Oh. I get you, Jake. This collection is like a musical time machine. Takes me back to the age of cool. You know, I don't even let Marfa touch my records. You should feel honored. Oh, I was. <clears throat> I do. Take your time. You are going to remember this moment for the rest of your life. So are you. So are you. See, the whole collection is cataloged alphabetically, from the animals to Zappa. <gasps> What kind of little kid prank was that? I didn't mean it, Daniel. Honest. I set it down on the chair so I wouldn't step on it again, and... Step on it? Why would you step on it? It fell. I mean, it was going to fall, and I was going to step on it, so I... What? You were planning to step on it? <sighs> Go ahead. Get mad. Yell. Forget it, Pipsqueak. It's my fault. I should have known better than to let a little kid hold something that valuable. I was asking for it. Wait, I can fix it. I can fix it. Get real, Squirt. It's totaled. A little glue isn't gonna... Read the six chapters and I'll be right back. Really right back. Hey, how did he know I had six chapters to read? Look at that escargot. What? Not even a snicker? I don't know, Dad. Maybe we've heard it before somewhere. I thought that one was a real gut buster. Beware, Jacob Tutu. The pickles are frog eggs. I know, I know. <gasps> hey, Jake. No pickles for me, Dad. Here. You take the message. I'll tell Mom Mrs. Foster called. Marge? Uh, she's in the garden. My son, the psychic? She's wondering about advertisements for the auction. Thank you, dear. I'll get back to her. Eventually. <sighs> it's for you. Hmm? It's Val. They went to that new boutique without you. Val! How could you? Mr. Dinglebutt, I need a diversion. How come they call them blueprints? Why can't they? Hey! I just had this deja vu feeling. You know, like we've done this before. I even had a funny feeling I've already decided what to get my mom for her birthday. Only I can't remember what it is. A frog. Flyers, please. What a great idea, Jacob. A frog. Wait. I think maybe I gave her one last year. She doesn't have one yet. Trust me. Pardon me. <laughs> Did you see that? I deja vu'd a burp. It's like I knew I was gonna burp before I burped. Isn't that weird? Not to me, Buford. Not to me. Maybe I can see the future. Ow! Maybe not. I further see that coming. See you later, Buford, if I don't see you earlier. I'm back. From the animals to Zappa. <gasps> no! My record! No! <gasps> yeah! fault. I should have known better. He's just a little kid. It's okay. I can fix it. I can fix it. No, you can't. Gluing the record back together won't... <laughs> Ow! Oh! I can fix your arm, too. Oh, my son the doctor? On guard, Shapiro. Guard yourself. I'm bored, and I'm sick of celery. <laughs> hey, you two. Listen to this. <clears throat> There's this snail... Look at that S cargo. You've heard it before? Lots of times. Hi, Marge. She's out in the garden. I, I don't know. I had a funny feeling it was you. No, not funny, ha-ha. It's funny, 
funny. <sighs> There's something about being in the garden that makes time seem to pass by more slowly. Why do I have a funny feeling Val has been to La Rouge without me? Somehow, oh. I only make them worse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was trying to help. I think you've helped enough, Squirt, in your own special clumsy, butterfingered, pipsqueak, little kid kind of way. I know I can make it all turn out right. I just need one more second chance. I can fix it. I can fix it. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> oh. I guess I shouldn't be so hard on the little guy. I should have known better than to let a little kid play with my records. Daniel? Daniel? Oh no! Maybe this time I killed him! No! Look out for the skateboard! So far, so good. I've got it! Hey, Buford. Heard any good jokes lately? No, but I had a funny feeling I was supposed to come over and do something with Jacob. And another funny feeling I was supposed to buy this for my mom. There it goes! Get it! Get it! They really are frog's eggs! Fuzzy, come back! You know, dear, frogs are very beneficial for the garden. They're gross! Mom, Mom, Dad's eating giant frog eggs! Fuzzy! worse can things get? Well, aside from the house being completely destroyed, it's been a very relaxing day. You're kidding. I can fix it. I can fix it. I'm sorry, Daniel. I'm really, really sorry. I know you know I didn't mean to do it. And I know you think it's your fault for letting me handle something so valuable, because I'm just a little kid. Believe me, if I could fix it, I would. <sighs> but I can't. 
All I can do is live with it and hope you'll forgive me. Maybe when I'm 50, you won't treat me like a little pipsqueak anymore. Um... Okay, pipsqueak. I'll catch you later. Psst. Follow me, amigo. And try not to look suspicious. You know, Mr. Dinglebat, I've been thinking. Excellent, my dear Tutu. I highly recommend it. While I choose a fresh disguise, perhaps you could share the results of your recent ponderings, hmm? Well, I've been thinking that no matter how bad things seem, they could always be worse. Words to live by, Jacob. Words to live by. And yet, while things could always be worse... They could also get better, you know. Yeah, I guess that's something to think about. Aha! I believe I have something down here that might interest you. No thanks, Mr. Dinglebat. No? Well then, perhaps you know of someone else who might want it. <coughs> A souvenir from one of my earliest capers. Something to do with an invasion of insects, as I recall. I want to hold your hand by the Beatles. Never did play it. But how did you know? How did you know? Perhaps it was just a funny feeling, hmm? A funny thing happened on the way to the fundraiser tonight. I'm... Our cab's here. I... I never could get the hang of these things. Oh. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Daniel! 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 I was over at Mr. Dinglebat's, and you'll never guess what he gave me. What? I want to hold your hand. Original release 45. It's for you. For you. Wow, Jake. This is great. It's never been played. It's... 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 It's what, Jake? 